Brooke Olsendam has quickly become a fixture courtside at Indiana Pacers games. Whether reporting from the sidelines or hosting the Pacers TV broadcasts, being close to the game just feels right. I grew up in a gym with my father, who was a basketball coach for over 32 years, and it just came naturally to me, the game of basketball that I, and sports in general, that I wanted to, to do something with it. And then when I felt so comfortable and at ease at school when I was behind the desk going over highlights talking about our school's athletes, that is definitely um, when I realized and decided I wanted to do what I do. Brooke's career kept her busy, but it was her time in Los Angeles as a reporter and producer that allowed for a chance meeting with her future husband, pro football player Andy Collins. Met him in Venice Beach at a, a bar, which it, everyone laughs at because he's not a, a big bar guy, but happened to be there that night, which was good for both of us, and started dating and the rest is history from there with how we met at least. Just one of the most amazing men got him to put a ring on it, as they say. And it was pretty funny because he had actually thought for quite some time he was going to be a priest. So he had to go back to his family's house for a week. I had to swallow it, say, let him make the decision. You cannot make this for him. It was the longest week of my life. He went back home, prayed about it, said, God said, what are you doing? You'd be a great priest, but you're gonna be an even better father and an even better husband. After Andy's pro career ended, the two married on July 23, 2011. Got married in a big Catholic wedding. It was too much fun. We had a great time. I've never seen him so happy. Every, I swear everyone he invited came, and he, he knows a lot of people. He, he played football at every level. Not too many teammates didn't show up. So all his friends, all his family, and might as well were there. It was a beautiful night. It was a blast. The newlyweds decided to move to Florida, where Brooke had a new job waiting for her at foxsports.com. Andy and Brooke were just starting their new life together when the unexpected changed everything. Ten days after our wedding, we were in Florida at the hotel we were staying in, and I hadn't started my job yet, but in the next couple days I was to start. We had a big dinner with all the foxsports.com people, and he wanted to go have a workout real quick before dinner, so he went down to the gym in the hotel. I was in the lobby of the hotel with about eight to ten of my future co-workers. That was where we were meeting before we went to dinner. And I had heard a, a, a siren, and it seemed like it was getting closer, but I couldn't tell, and then I just felt, didn't feel right. It felt like something, was, something wasn't right. Brooke got a call shortly after from a paramedic who informed her that Andy had collapsed while running on the treadmill. He was immediately rushed to the hospital, but doctors were unable to save him. Andy had died from a heart attack at the age of 27. Either I let myself feel and I was inconsolable, it made myself sick, I was, it was one or the other. I said this, I told myself this didn't happen or I let myself feel and it was at times just too overwhelming for me. So I, I laid there in that bed with my, at my mom's house for, I don't know how long, a month. Through the help of friends, family, and counseling, Brooke would return to work when she became the TV host and sideline reporter for the Indiana Pacers. I have to say that this organization, Pacers Sports and Entertainment, is unique, and it was uniquely perfect for me because it is not just a job, you are a part of a family. That was a key for me to kind of feeling like, okay, more comfortable, and this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be back to work. I'm supposed to be doing something. It's a real great atmosphere for giving back. So it really was the perfect next step for me with something that is close to me, which is heart awareness. Now, Brooke is partnering with the American Heart Association. By telling others of her own personal tragedy, she hopes to encourage others to learn more and to promote the early detection of heart disease. When I look back on the what ifs, I wish we would have just been more aware and had the heart scan. He, he, we never thought of it. We didn't think it was an issue. There's, he was the perfect vision of health. When I say that everything that could have been done to save him after the fact was done, in the same breath I say it could have been avoided had we thought to get a heart scan, which never crossed any of our minds, never crossed mine until everything that happened did, and now it's, it's something I tell everyone they should get. I don't think it, it is too much to ask just to take care of yourself and your family. Just get out there and get checked out. Proactiveness is, is key.